What is up, everybody? Welcome to Wells Fargo Championship Week. Brandon Godova here with three of my favorite daily fantasy golf plays for this week's event at TPC Potomac, not at Quail Hollow. Be sure to make that distinction when you're digging back into the history books. Starting off with Corey Connors at the top, 11,700 on FanDuel. I just like Connors a lot at this setup. It's going to put an emphasis on driving accuracy and greens and regulation, or in terms of the strokes gain stats, off the tee and approach. And in those two stats, specifically Connors is in the 97th percentile in each of them over the past year with my field strength and recency adjustments factored in. Nobody tops that this week. We've seen TPC Potomac in 2017 and 2018, and Connors did play here in 2018 when he finished T41 while ranking 19th in strokes gained from ball striking, but 109th with the short game. He's come a long way since then, and he sets up well for a strong finish this week. Moving more into the mid-tier with Seamus Power at 10,300. Power, probably a bit undersalaried, but that's to be expected because we just have a big second tier of golfers in the mix this week. Somebody has to be undersalaried, and I'm going to take advantage of Power as a result. We've seen his betting odds shorten pretty drastically, so we're probably not the only ones who like Power this week, but Power, a definitely a good fit for TPC Potomac. He ranks in the 75th percentile or better in both adjusted ball striking and short game, meaning he's got a balanced profile. He is in the 65th percentile or better in both distance and accuracy. With winning scores likely to hover around 10 under this week, that has a lot of value, that all-around game. Power, also an elite putter from within 10 feet. That is par save range. Birdie potential whenever he does get into that position. So, And he at the salary, he fits any type of lineup construction as well. And then jumping all the way down to 8,200 on FanDuel, we have Martin Laird. While I'm not factoring in course history too much because we're looking just at 2017 and 2018, so... Small sample and outdated sample. We do at least have a T3 from Martin Laird in 2017. And to be transparent, he missed cut in 2018. But Laird actually sits in the 93rd percentile in adjusted ball striking in my database over the past year. He just doesn't putt very well. That said, he is in the 97th percentile in fairways gained. And so this couldn't really be a much better setup for him to do what he does best. Hit the fairways, stick the greens with the irons. From there, he'll have to get up and down when he does miss. And he's actually a fine scrambler, but... That profile overall makes him more of a bogey avoider than a birdie maker, but that should work well at TPC Potomac, which just has played pretty tough on the PGA Tour whenever we do see it. Martin Laird at 8,200 opens up a lot of salary this week. That'll do it for my favorite plays for this week's Wells Fargo Championship. Best of luck this weekend.